Hello and welcome to Code Time. My name's Trevor Greenleaf. In this series, we're going to be covering Bash basics. To get started, you're gonna need a terminal application, which you probably have on your Mac or your Ubuntu or on your Windows system. Shell is a widely known Unix uh, command line interpreter. What that means is you can write uh, system uh, commands to do various tasks. Something like making a directory or copying a file or editing a file. All of the uh, command line or uh, text window. Shell is very common when you set up a server, perhaps, maybe something like DigitalOcean, or maybe you're working with a Raspberry Pi and you need to edit some of the files and you don't have a GUI interface or a program, something like Sublime, to open up the file and edit it, you would need to use the command line to do so. So there's a couple basic shell commands, and then we get into bash, and bash basically builds on the base shell, uh, what is known as like the new shell, and it's not really that new. Um, bash, uh, or what they call as born shell, was first released in 1989, uh, and now they're just called bash. And so you can see it's been many years, it's been on out there, it's on every system just about so that you can go in there and what's nice about this you can go in there and just start writing bash code which is basically shell code just that gives you more features so um, that's kind of what we're after in this series is just some basics of bash what are some of the commands that you might be writing on a daily basis to either administer your servers or maybe working on automating things on your own computer or you might be working with a Raspberry Pi to uh, set up some scripts there and, and integrate it with some uh, electronics and some components. So uh, as far as uh, requirements, nothing really here. Uh, you don't need to know any basics like HTML or CSS uh, as you might be jumping in here uh, from a different background. Uh, we're going to go and show you how, you know, basically to get started from scratch with it opening up your terminal or your iTerm or different tools that you can use to access it and uh, show you how to write a couple scripts and get started with Bash.